we're here today at Lamida Hall Fishery. Now, I'm quite excited about today because this is a venue I've never fished before. And it's going to be fun finding out what we're in store for. I have no idea. I've deliberately tried not to find out too much about it. I haven't spoken to anyone that's fished any of the matches because uh, I want to get back to just having a bit of fun and finding out what's in store for us today. We've got a lovely looking margin up the edge here and some open water in front of us. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be great fun and I'm really looking forward to the day. Now, as I said, we're here at Lavender Hall Fishery. The, uh, the lorry family run this fishery. They also run a fantastic tackle shop just up here. Um, it's well stocked with all the big brands. And they also have the cafe. Now the cafe is legendary, let me tell you. The, um, it's always buzzing. There's pe people come from miles around just to come to the cafe. In fact, I think the half the Warwickshire police force use this cafe. Uh, probably shouldn't say that. I don't know if they're at stakeouts or whatever, but they do anyway. Um, so a few, many years ago now, actually, I won some money on a festival and I bought one of those DeLonghi bean to cup coffee machines. Now, fatal mistake to make because you become a complete coffee snob. You're at home having the best coffee every day. Now, first time I came here, um, do you want a side, do you want a coffee? Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a black coffee, please. And I tell you what, the coffee here is to die for. They've got a big um, barista style coffee machine I love, and it makes the best, best coffee. Um, but anyway, we're here today to do some fishing, and I'm really looking forward to the, the day. So as, as I said at the start, I really don't know what to expect today. Um, you know, I don't know if all the fish are going to be those little tiny stockies, whether we're going to catch any bigger fish, if there's other species. I really have tried to find out as little as possible just to make the day more fun for me. Uh, so, uh, um, but that's a great little start. It's a beautiful little fish just caught there, first one. Um, and first drop in as well. So it's um, a good, good start a nice beautiful little stocky fish um, so I've started on a uh, 0.3 um, float it's only about three and a half foot deep I've just got a strung out um, number nine shot on the rig um, I've got a four inch hook length which is 014 to a size 18 um, SLWG hook and a, a band and a four mil um, I started on 014 because it it's kind of gives me the best of all options. If you know that little fish, that stocky fish, you might want to probably fish 010 if you knew you were going to catch those all day, but we don't. And there may be some better carp in. And 014 gives us the best kind of um, uh, cross, I suppose, in between potentially catching something decent and those little fish. And you know, getting bites, we want to get bites, but at the same time, if we do catch something better. Uh, we want a good chance of landing it. The water's still fairly cold. I mean, we're right, well, nearly in May now. And um, this time last year, crikey, we were all in shorts, flip-flops. It was 25 degrees. Um, but we have had, I reckon, three solid weeks of high pressure, northeast winds, east winds, uh, frosts overnight. So the fisheries up and down the country are going to be well behind where they were, certainly this time last year. Um, so it's a kind of ease our way in today, I think. Uh, I've got the float dotted down, um, getting lots of little indications already, which seems to suggest that there may be a few smaller fish out there. And if it transpires we catch these small fish, then I can obviously find down and see if that makes any difference to uh, getting more positive bites, for example. But um, we're gonna stick as we are for now. So we're very, very early into the session and um, yeah, it's a lovely little start with that little ghosty. So we're in again. I think this is another, yeah, same, same stamp of fish, I think, as the last one. Um, I've got my double pole roller behind me. It's my pole roller on a tree, basically. Um, the elastic is the Fighter 1.8mm. Um, which is perfect for these sort of fishing. Gives us a good chance with a better fish and it comes out nicely for these little stockies. A slightly better fish, this one.
Yeah, definitely a better stamp. I've got some different coloured hookers here as well, which is something I've just found in a shop recently. Um, I've got some hard hookers in four mils in uh, white, green and red. So we can try those during the day and see if there's any difference, if they make any difference to getting bites quicker, if the fish seem to prefer any colour. Just on a natural at the minute, but it gives us an option for later on. Um, lovely little things they are. Um, I mean, plumbing up earlier, it's fairly flat all the way from uh, almost a top kit right the way out as far as you can see there. Um, I've got a beautiful looking margin, that edge to my right hand side, which I didn't want to start on straight away because I, I want to sort of start feeding that and hopefully we'll catch some better fish there a bit later on. Um, so if I go to my right, it does start to shelve up from about a metre to the right of where I'm fishing. So I'm at the bottom of a slope effectively. Now, always a good place to, to fish, bottom of a slope. Um, seems to fish seem to patrol along that line so that's the reason I'm out exactly where I am at the minute it's slightly more uncomfortable because I'm fishing a little bit to the right of where I would normally like to be um, but I feel that's where the fish are going to want to be so um, that's the reason for starting there um, you're going to keep pinging a few four mils over the top I mean it may be that toss potting micros or a few pellets would be the way to go but um, I just want to fill my way in like this for now and um, we can see how we go and we can always change. Also, there's a chance of, I've seen one or two fish swirling. Another reason I want to keep pinging because if we get them coming up in the water, we've got a shallow rig here that we can target a little bit later on. Well, there you go. After getting loads and loads of little dinks and indications and knocks on, and losing that other one just now, which is the same size as the first one, I was assuming that we were going to be inundated with little tiny stocky fish and the very next fish, it's a much better one, um, certainly pulling back a bit and uh, yeah a bit of a shock because all those little dinks which seem to suggest that there were just tiny fish there but this isn't a tiny fish. This is where this elastic is lovely, it's great for those little tiny fish but also it's still got a bit of power and reserve when you pull the strip back like I have here for these better fish. Wow, look at that mirror. Beautiful hard fighting. There we go. What a lovely second fish that one is. Probably around four pounds, I would think, that one. What a lovely fish that is there. Second fish, that's about four pounds. And uh, yeah, lovely. So it's slowed down quite a bit now on that long line, uh, 13 metre line. Um, been getting a little bit skitty, um, foul hooked a couple of fish. So I've been loose feeding four mils out of the hand here at five metres. And um, so time to give this a go now um, and see what happens here. I've been throwing four mil pellets out of the hand uh, at five metres since we started. And that 13 metre line's slowed right down there. We were catching quite quickly on it. Um, and so I think the time now is right to come in and have a go on this four metre line, five metre line, um, to see what happens here. Oh. And there you go. First chuck on that five metre line and we're into a fish. And it feels like a better fish as well. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, with that, that 30 metre line had slowed right down been loose feeding four mils at five metres here, first drop on it and we're into a better fish straight away. Uh, which just goes to show that if you are starting to struggle on one line then don't leave it too long before you change. Um, this is a better fish and uh, it's making its way into the middle of the lake. <laughs> and uh, ooh. Amazing. 
So just keep the feed going in while we're playing this fish. And you can see how soft this elastic is. Look at this, look. It's taking off again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Are we going to add on or are we not? We're going to, we're hanging on. We're going to add, no. It's coming back. We've all done it, haven't we? Gone to add on the sexual. No, we'll hang on, ping, off it goes, but we're, we're okay at the minute. So this feels like a good fish. But we are on quite light gear. Uh, light elastic, it's going again. That's the beauty of this puller system, is that you can let it go a bit. Oh, beauty. Look at that first drop on that short five metre line. You've got an absolute beauty there. That's a, that's a good six pound. Um, lovely fish. And that just goes to show the beauty of keeping that second line going. Gives you somewhere to go. And uh, what a result. With this right hand margin edge I've periodically dropped in and just a, some micro pellets, a few six mil pellets, a few maggots just to give them something to munch on. Um, I'm fishing a six mil banded pellet on a little point two with a bulk quite close to the hook. It's a fairly positive rig which you need to be fishing down the edge and um, yeah that's an encouraging start. Small fish first chuck but uh, the float is moving about as we speak. It's a lovely looking edge, it's nice depth as well. It's about two foot deep, um, perfect for, for this sort of fishing. I think what I'm gonna do after this, when I come in this time, I'm gonna put a toss pot on the pole and just drop a small amount of bait in each drop in. So probably a little thumbnail of micros and maybe a couple of six mil pellets. Um, just to keep, keep food going in rather than pinging. I don't want to be pinging pellets along the bank and having them crawling up the grass and so on. So I think I'm going to try to be a bit more accurate. And I say it's first, first drop in after feeding. So um, I think if I'm going to carry on fishing this, I'm going to stick a toss pot on and just drop a little bit of bait in each time. Hopefully we get one or two better fish. So first drop in after putting the, uh, the big pot in, we've had a fish. Um, I said I was looking really to feed it constantly now with the toss pot. Not add anything now for a few minutes. The float hasn't moved for a few minutes. So I think probably need to get some bait in. So uh, let's, let's come in and do that straight away. Right, at the moment I'm fishing a six mil banded pellet. So I'm gonna drop a couple of three pellets in there. I'm just going to plug it with some damp down micros that stops the pellets bouncing out and it's a nice little uh, attraction for the fish to get their heads down over. Drop that in right where we're going to fish it. That's there. I say it's quite a positive rig. It's just a bulk above a four inch hook length and uh, see what happens. The elastic I've been using in the open water is the, uh, the Fighter 1.8. Uh, which has been perfect for the mix of fish we've caught here. I mean, it's, it's handled the, the, the six pounder we had, no problem at all, and also those little stockies. I'm using a 2.1 fighter down the edge here. It's a little bit strong. We just need to pull the fish away from the, the bankside cover a bit quicker. And also we're likely to get, hopefully, bigger fish here as well. So that's the, uh, that's the theory. 
and we're in straight away. Oh, and it's come off. That fish came straight into that little uh, toss potted knob of feed there. So I think that's the way we're going to go. <clears throat> now I might have to go come back in and go back out fairly quickly because obviously that fish has come in straight away to my little drop of feed but I've missed the bite or hooked the fish and it's come off so that might well have spooked whatever's there away um, and we might need to come back in fairly quickly so I'm just going to give it another minute maybe and, um, and then come in and rebait. The beauty of fishing this toss pot down the edge is you can be really really accurate and I've got a lovely little marker in the far bank there and that's right on the money I don't think it hurts to ping pellets over there when you're not fishing it and you're not planning on fishing it for a time because it just generally gets fish in the area but once you need once you start going on it I think you need to be much much more accurate which is where this toss pot comes into its own and again there's a fish there straight away just goes to prove that that's that little bit of feed they're coming into. It's only a small fish. It's one of those little stocky carp. Do you know, I still can't believe this time last year we were. I was in swimming shorts and flip flops, and uh, it's a, a long run of cold weather we've been having, isn't it? So it's uh, be nice to get some sunshine out again. I always get tempted when edge fishing to fill it in down the edge. It just seems a natural instinct in me to, to want to fill it in and put loads of bait in. But I think with the water being so cold, it's not the right thing to do now, which is why I'm going down this toss pot route. But uh, certainly when it gets warmer, here we go. Um, I sort of just can't help myself filling it in down the edge. And it's worked so many times as well, particularly for when you're fishing for big carp. Um, definitely not right for these small fish. Oh, lovely F1. Mind you, still put a weight together of these if you're catching those quickly. So, so we're back on the short line again now. Um, did have a few fish up the edge. Uh, it's still very, very cold, and I don't think they're ready to settle up there just yet. So um, went a couple of drops in without any signs. So felt it was time to come back in on this short line. Had a little stocky straight away, and um, we're just going to keep loose feeding a few pellets out there, and um, hopefully get a few more here. I've had a great day here at Lavender Hall Fishery. It's my first time here and caught some beautiful little fish, all sizes really from 10, 12 ounces right up to about six pounds. Um, beautiful, perfectly conditioned little stockies. Um, I've bought with me maggots, casters, pellets, sweet corn, ground bait, everything. I've used a handful of four mil pellets, a few nice little coloured hookers that picked out a few fish. And um, it's been a great day. It's been really good. The, um, the weather is looking now as if it's going to really come down and one of the beauties of uh, just doing a little session like this is that we can get off before the rain gets here. But I tell you what, the fishing's been fantastic. The coffee, mamma mia, the coffee, the coffee, it's fantastic. And it's a, it's a great place, Lavender Hill Side, they've got a fantastic tackle shop, cafe, the fishing. I will certainly be back here to fish again.